Ewok versus the semi no Mewtwo King. How do you think Ewok does versus Cloud? Yeah. Well, he got a JV3 on Will. Let's never forget that. Let's never forget the JV3. Does Will, <laughs> does Will Ming Cloud? <laughs> Will that's he not, ever that's the one thing. again? <laughs> he stopped after that moment. Dude, Will, is, Will is my favorite person. Shout out to Will's wife if you're in here, but Will. Oh, he's married? Yeah. Oh, wow, I didn't Dude, know that. Will is so hot and cold as a player. He you'll is. be like, how does he ever do well sometimes? And then you'll be watching and you're like, wow, he's doing amazing. I didn't know it was in him, but we're not, we're not here to talk about that. No, no, no. Oh, you are going Lucas first. Okay. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, um, yeah. So we have a very competent uh, first main. Ewok41 playing Lucas versus Echo Fox, MVG, Mewtwo King. And off the bat, Mewtwo King looked pretty solid, just kind of throwing it at his back here, spacing him out. Of course, you know, Lucas is one of those characters that just capitalizes. You know, once you find that grab, once you find that neutral layer, you're going to find a lot, a lot of damage from yeah. Lucas. Yeah, Lucas definitely with some, one of those carries confirmed games out of the entire cast. You know, he can easily chain together like 60 plus percent. And then even if he does get a grab, he has a kill confirm off of it. And he also just has like three throws that just stops, that just kill. Yeah. So, and, and what you said there, the important part is grab. The yeah. fact that you can get so much damage and so many setups at every percent until kill percent with grab is a game changer because it's not a, a hit, an attack that you have to hit yeah. that vary in different hitboxes. No, it's a grab. So once you condition your opponent with your other areas, you throw out that grab right now. Ooh. And Mewtwo King just kind of running a trend on him at this moment. It would be pretty good. Yeah. This is one of the rough, roughest, rougher matchups for Lucas. Just because uh, Cloud's Disjoint is just able to beat out every single move that uh, Lucas has. Like, even if he tries to go for the tether, I don't I don't believe his tether is actually long enough to beat out any of the attacks. It's only after he whips. Um, like, that down there, that's definitely he can definitely try to grab with the tether. But other than that, like, forward air, forward air is going to beat it out, back air is going to beat it out, there is going to beat it out. Yeah. Um, that just Big makes it box. really hard for him to just turn yeah. Good thing he has, though, is once he gets Cloud off stage, that dare is just going to kill him today. He also has the ability to use his upbeats if he wants, that long trailing hitbox that yes. can't just cancel out with a move. It's another way to just kind of disrupt it. But right now, we have a near out of shield into Ooh, okay. the forward air from Ewok. Mewtwo King, though, he's starting to get the Ooh. range. He has the upbeat. Or, I'm sorry, the oh. cross slash. My mistake. Yeah. Still not kill quite yet, though. But that near off stage, pushing it on super far. Yeah. We're going to see a low recover here. He's just kind of waiting. Mewtwo King's going to counteract here, but. Ooh. Ooh, well, that usually confirms. It. Yeah. Now, I think you're actually able to. Is it just which hitbox you get, depending on how you can jump out of it? Uh, I assume so. Okay. You know. Yeah, because I mean, a lot of times it just feels like it's a little, it's like you need to be ready for it. You can't really react to the down tilt. Oh, oh no. Dropping the shield yeah. right at that delayed moment. A Mewtwo King decides after retreating there to throw out the blade beam, catching him right there. Ewok down a game right now to Mewtwo King. Yeah, so do you think we're going to get the switch to Cloud, or do you think he's going to stay with this? Uh, I think so. Yeah, yeah. yeah so. You know, he's been working on Cloud. Lucas really doesn't come out often. Yeah. Sometimes versus Bayonetta, but, you know. Uh, that, yeah, no. Not and really all too often. A lot of the times, in a ditto, what is daunting is a player that is you view as more competent. Right? Yeah. It's as if I pulled out Peach versus Armada. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Oh, um, that's not going to do any good. But you also have to be aware of sometimes people's inability to play the ditto very well. Of course, Mewtwo King, I don't think he really cares too no. much about that. Yeah, I mean, this is actually going to be one of Mewtwo King's specialties, if anything, considering the one thing that Mewtwo King that's all transferred over between every single game is Edge Garden, and one of the easiest characters to Edge Guard is Cloud. Yeah. So but right now, look at this. Yeah. Ewok turning on the heat. heat. Look at that. He's got his. Got cross it. slash possibly unlock pretty soon. Oh, okay. Ooh. He could have actually let that into a cross slash if he wanted Ooh, to. Oh, that was nice. Oh, actually, Mewtwo King was the one that burned up his uh, yeah. blade beam right there. So Ewok looking in a good position at the moment. He's got the leaves off stage here. This is what Mewtwo King needs to get back into it. Yeah, already 90% on Ewok. Off it, just after like uh, two conversions right there. All right. But just throwing him off the stage there. Oh, there he goes again. He walks on to find a safer way to recover. Unfortunately, gonna have to burn that limit. Oh, look at that! What? Oh! Oh! oh 
Let's go. Pure DBZ moment okay, right there. there we go. Survival. That is what we call it. So this is anyone's game right now. Whoever hits a, a big hit here. Ooh, got that limit right then. Yeah. But and that's going to take it. The first stock there. Yo, the Crowd. Ewok chance are coming out right now. And that's the thing. Course. We're going to have to see if, if Mutaking is able to handle this. Oh, is he going to turn around? Yeah, he <laughs> said <laughs> like, <laughs> dude, he told every, I think he told the crowd to please stop. But I love we, how the people that we get the loudest for are, are most soft-spoken players. <laughs> <laughs> Got Moogie, uh, probably the most cheered for after that, I would say. Probably Ewok. Yeah, definitely. But Ewok looking nice right now. Ooh, oh, he caught God. that. Yeah, if he caught that, I think I would have been it from Mutaking, but he didn't have a platform there. All right. We saw, look, look, what we saw right there. Some smart play and some bad decisions coming up from Ewok. He decided to not try to get back to the stage, but instead went to the platform. But then he just jumped from the ledge. A little bit of a flub there. That up air is huge, and that back air is also huge. He's yeah. Get that stock there. But Ewok's still looking pretty good. Okay, so... You always gotta, one thing you should keep in mind is that Mute King actually does like to recover to the le uh, on the platform a lot as Cloud, so you want to pick up on that. He can actually like jump, cover that with a neutral air, and uh, just potentially get the KO. Especially since oh, that's gonna be it. Ooh, Ooh call outs by Mute King right there. <laughs> Ooh, just covering that aerial space there, right? Whoa. Saying you have to go low. Yeah. And then with that big meaty down air, just stopping him down, sending him to the depths. And we saw that a few times, so. Both players would try to recover sometimes with the up air onto the stage. But what Mutaking was doing that Ewok wasn't is 